Bama Central.com, I'm Blake Byler here with Austin Hannon from Coleman Coliseum following Alabama's 106-66 victory over the LSU Tigers. Uh, Austin, we saw uh, a phenomenal game from Alabama shooting the ball uh, as well as from, from Brandon Miller who scored 31 points. What were some of your biggest takeaways from the game? Well, January 19th, 2021 came to mind. Mm -hmm. and that was when Alabama walked into P the Pete, as they call it, in Baton Rouge and made 23 threes, which is a program record. It was kind of similar to that today. You know, that was 105-75. This was 106-66, so even better. I mean, they won by 40 instead of 30. So um, the defense never gave up on, even though they got up by 45 points at one point, um, they kind of kept the foot down, only allowed 66. LSU was horrendous on offense. Right. Alabama was not horrendous on offense. Um, 23s, like I said. Brandon Miller, again, 31 points, 9 rebounds. Very efficient, too. Very Seven efficient. 11, two. Very efficient. 11 for 16 overall, mm -hmm. right? Yep. From, from three, yeah. So... Yeah, just a complete performance on both sides um, and another step, another step for this team that just keeps on taking bigger steps week by week to, to on their way to March here. Yeah, Nate Oates talked uh, in post game about how they had been uh, trying to key in on a, a few certain elements such as offensive rebounding and turnovers. Uh, we saw them improve in those areas, but do you think that's a thing that they can sustain and continue to improve on? Yeah, I think it, there's, a, there's a couple guys that are very consistent. I mean, you know you're going to get Brandon Miller's best. You know you're going to get Mark Sears' best. Um, you know, you're going to get the best from Noah Clowney, it seems like, every game. But he kind of talked about guys like, you know, Rylan Griffin or Dominic Welch off the bench that maybe aren't always consistent. Obviously, Javon Quinterly comes to mind, too, um, as guys that, you know, they have it in them, but they don't always show it necessarily. But, yeah, I mean, it, it, with you, when you have a team that you can play 11 or 12 guys when Amari Burnett comes back, I think you can have some inconsistent guys because more often than not, out of those 12, how many are going to play well? Probably a solid amount of them. So. The depth really helps. I think if they didn't have that inconsistency, would be an issue like it was last year with some players. Right. Um, so yeah, I mean they, they've got plenty of players to, to kind of go in there and get it done. Absolutely. Next up, Alabama will face Vanderbilt from Memorial Gymnasium in Nashville, Tennessee, and the two of us will be. We will there. be there. Uh, so be on the lookout for that. But once again, from Coleman Coliseum, I'm Blake Byler, and this is Austin Hannon. Thank you for watching.